the good solid ones, they go in the bank. And they go up Hello, Pound each. I've got a knack for putting them in, then when they go home, yeah. get, oh, right. <laughs> get everything away to get rid of it. I've turned up before early in the morning, then there's been a couple of rod breasts in the night before somebody else. <laughs> you just put your rod straight on them, didn't you? Morning. How much are off on all the games, mate? Are they all different? Oh, you're going to give me a deal on these. <laughs> I don't know, you're going to give me a deal on them. <laughs> well, I'm thinking you're going to like, um, you do well out of this lot. I was going to ask my mate Tony, he's in the games, he's a dealer, that is yeah. he was going to come and have a look at them. But, um, have a can up. See how many of you It's an even smaller one to stalk. Mm. They're blinding, they fit in the back set. It's not going to be printed. It's my own one. Mm? That's my own one. All it is is I've just bought a new one. The, uh, no, I'm, I'm just saying, uh, I think plenty enough. Join in, yeah. It works, yeah? Three, four pounds? It works, definitely. Definitely, go get a yeah. battery and try it no, out. No, correct. Thank you. How are you, fella? Are you okay? Oh, mate, yeah. Did you have those um, off steam last week? Oh, right. Yeah, 30 of them. Oh, right. Full one. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
pounds. How much? Four, four pounds. This is garden. No okay, thank you. Ten seconds later. Yeah, right, man, you want to take? I've only got three quid change. Or well, three sixty for it. Yeah. Let's make sure I see what I'm Perfect. Give it a go. That's right. Yeah, No problem. Can you give it a go? No worries. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. That, that's not that's not that, that, isn't it? Yeah. Cool.
we are back YouTube. For anyone who's returning, thank you. And for anyone who's new, welcome. I'm Mitch and this is Retro Rummage. I'm going to game my channels, buying games, DVDs, Blu-rays, uh, any electrical items I can get my hands on that uh, either boot sale or charity shop for a cheap price. So I'm getting traded in at CEX uh, for a high price. So yeah, I'm able to build my own gaming collection. Um, so yeah, Sunday boots, well, a Sunday boot sale today. Um, to be honest, the weather has been absolutely terrible every Sunday for like the last two or three weeks now. Um, I'm really, you know, starting to have withdrawal symptoms from going to boot sales, I'm not gonna lie. So so this one um, that I went to today is quite far for, from me, well, in terms of what I normally drive to, I think it was about 45 minutes away, but it's a late starter one, um, so it starts at around half 10. And yes, I mean, this morning it was just it was raining all day, uh, sorry, all morning. Um, the normal ones that I have on a Sunday were all rained off. I checked the Facebook page of this one and, and it said, yeah, we're still on, um, come down. And I thought, you know what, I'm, I'm going to go and have a look and, and, you know, see if I can pick anything up. In all honesty, it, it was dire. There weren't really much there. I think there was maybe about 30 or 40 stalls, something like that. And obviously what I'm looking for, you know, there's, there's not too much of that. Um, managed to get a couple of pickups, whether or not <laughs> they were good or not, um, is yet to be seen. Um, yeah, well, I'll, I'll get into them uh, in a minute. But after that, I, I've nipped into Romford and I went into a CEX store in Romford. I took a game back that um, I've got a fail on my last CEX roulette. So go and check that out. Um, and yeah, I had some money to spend in store at CEX. Got a, pick up, a couple of pickups from there. And then I also went to the Retro Giant, um, which is in Romford as well put a link to uh, their website and obviously their location in the description. And then we'll go over those games as well. So yeah, um, first pickups, well, the first own and only game pickups that I managed to grab from uh, this boot sale were, and to be honest, I don't know a lot about these games. Um, you know, this is probably going to be a fail. You, you can't trade them into CEX. I, I'm looking at them, I thought, oh, they might be worth some money. Um, I think I paid like three quid each for them. You know, maybe I'll be able to double my money on eBay with them, but but we'll see. But yeah, I've got um, the real Ghostbusters Amstrad cassette. Um, they are all looking all complete. Um, this one on the back here, I believe, says it's for the Spectrum. Um, again, I I don't know too much about the these cassette games. They're obviously a bit before my time. I know that there's obviously a big following for them. Um, I'll, I'll I'll go through them and then I'll have I'll let you know what I see on eBay. Then we've got Rampage, which is obviously um, a very famous game. Again, complete. Even got like the little instruction manual in there. Um, this one on the back says Commodore sixty four. Again, like I'm saying, I, you know I've, I don't know too much about these. That they're, they're obviously all cassette games. Now I don't know. Can you play that game? Even though it says Commodore sixty four on the back of it, can you play it on a Spectrum or? um an atari or is it you can only play them on specific consoles because uh, i haven't got a clue but you know they look the same but then again i suppose an xbox 360 disc won't play in a playstation you know two or three discs uh you know consoles. so so who knows and then i also got uh v the game now i do remember this series uh, as a kid and watching it it's quite famous um, and again, yeah, I think so. I paid three pound each for, for all of these. Now I've had a look on eBay um, at what they've sold for. Whether or not I'll get much more than that, I'm not too sure. I think the the V one that may be worth maybe ten to fifteen pound. So I might get a little bit of money back on that one. The real Ghostbusters. Um, again, I think maybe I might get a fiver for that one. And then Rampage maybe a fiver for that one as well. But but let me know in the comments. Um, you know if 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 you like these games, if you've got any information about them, and to be honest, if you want them, you know, if you, if you want to buy them from me, um, hit me up on Instagram. There's a, a link to, what's the word, um, my Instagram page in the description. Obviously, I have, haven't got any bids on them on eBay. You know, I'm happy to take them off and I'll sell them to you uh, for a little bit cheaper because obviously I haven't got, got to pay fees or anything like that. Um, so, yeah, and then I also got uh, a copy of Libero Grande. Uh, which I believe is, oh, oh, do you know what? I've just realised it hasn't got the back to it. <laughs> so, um, I think it's a football game. I'm not too sure. 
It's got the manual um, and everything else with it. Is that that's not the back to it there, is it? No, it's another another uh, thing. But yeah, I think he threw that one in. So I think I paid twelve pound for all of them. So you know, maybe three pound each or something like that. So probably a bit of a fail. But it's one of them things where there wasn't really much else there, and and that's another thing as well. This, this boot sale, they were charging three pound each to get in. Three pound, and then. To, to rub salt in the wound as well. I said to my girlfriend, oh, do you want to come to Romford with me today? And she was like, oh, yeah, go on then. And obviously, we got there. So I had to pay for it. So it was six quid to get in. Ridiculous. So, I mean, whether or not I'd go back, but it was more just for my own sanity because I feel like I had to get out and, and have a look around the boot sale. <laughs> but, yeah, probably a complete and utter fail. Um, and then, yeah, I, I've, I've grabbed this as well. Now, my eBay account, where I've sold um, quite a few things on there lately, I'm now, as soon as I sell something and I dispatch it, eBay are giving me a payout for it. So I'm not having to wait. Because when I first started setting up the account, I was having to wait maybe two, three weeks for the payment. So, you know, if, if I could avoid it, um, I would with, with selling stuff on eBay. But now I get my money a little bit quicker. There are some things that I'm starting to look at thinking, oh, maybe I don't, I'll try and flip them, um, you know, for, for a quick bit of money. But I picked up this. I mean, I, I won't grab it off the box. He's, he's upside down. But it's HP printer, um, HP DeskJet D1560. Um, it's in really good condition. Obviously, the box is all there. Um, I've seen sold ones of these for like thir well, £30 upwards, to be honest. Um, it hasn't got any ink cartridges with it. I've plugged it in. It does turn on. It does work. But I think the ink, um, sorry, because it hasn't got any ink cartridges with it or the ink's run out. It's not print, printing anything, but the arm's moving along like it would. So I'm assuming, obviously, if you can get some ink on that, uh, it will it'll be working fine. Um, so, yeah, £3.50 or 60 I paid for that. Hopefully, I could sell it off. I think I'll put it up for maybe 20 25 quid on eBay. So hopefully, I'll be able to sell that. But if not, you know, it's £3.60 and just a, a, a day out <laughs> in the end. But, but yeah, it's, it's definitely a difficult time of year. Obviously, we're trying to source games and stuff like that. And you know, I'm not going to lie, I, I am addicted to going to boot sales. So, you know, it's looking like next Sunday it's going to rain as well. Last Sunday it, it rained and obviously this Sunday it rained. And I just thought, you know, I want to get out and, and at least go to one. So probably a fail in, in, you know, everything I spent, but it was nice to get out. So, yeah, afterwards I popped into CEX in Romford, uh, took my game uh, Capcom versus SNK back. Um, they had a copy of uh, Blood Omen, legacy, sorry, Legacy of Cain Blood Omen, um, which they wanted £60 for. It was complete. It did have the manual, but the insert to the game was like all crinkled up and had it looked like it had water damage on the back. So I, I opted against that, but I did manage to pick up Duke Nukem. Uh, again, on a PlayStation 1 complete, in good condition. For, I think that was £10, something like that. Um, haven't got any of those in, in my uh, collection yet, so it's happy to add for that. I think that may have been £8, actually. I'm not too sure. Um, and then, yeah, following on from uh, an episode, I think, CEX Roulette the other week, I've got an, an, another memory card for the PlayStation, which is the emerald green one. Well, maybe that was £8 and that was £10 because it was £18 for both of those. Um, so, yeah, happy with them. And then I popped into the Retro Giant in um, in Rumford. Now, I don't, you know, if I can avoid it, I don't like to say bad a bad thing about retro um, gaming, you know, the community and things like that, because obviously it is, you know, a niche market. There's not too many of these stores around, and, you know, I want them to do well because it is really good for you to be able to, to pop in and have a look. But, uh, I, you know, it was so expensive in Retro Giant. I, I can't understand how they're making a living when, in, you know, he, he was charging double the price of what CEX was charging, especially on the PlayStation 1 games, you know. I think he had, for a Crash Bandicoot 2, a Revenge of Cortex, only £30 for it. That's £15 in CEX. Um, yeah, there was like Destruction Derby 2, he wanted 20, 20 or 20 or 25 pounds for, which is like a tenner on eBay. Um, and then, yeah, some of the PlayStation 2 games, I can't, off the top of my head, I can't remember, but it seemed really, really expensive. And again, like there was some PlayStation 3 games, like Metal Gear Solid 
four, he wanted five pound four, it was three pound fifty in CX. And, and bear in mind, there's a CX around the corner from, from where they are. So I don't understand the logic behind it. And I mean, yeah, obviously it is great to, to go in and have a look at these games, but I mean, the guy was really nice. He was really helpful. You know, I don't want to say, you know, there wasn't a bad thing about him in how he, you know, come across him. Um, he was saying, yeah, he'd take my, I think he gave me his number. He was saying, you know, let me know what you're after and I'll, I'll drop you a message and, you know, I'll reserve it for you and all stuff like that. You know, he was a really nice and, and helpful guy, but the prices were just, just well off. I think, yeah, right, Abe's Odyssey, Odyssey, sorry. I think he wanted £22 for it. Again, it's like maybe an eight or £10 game in, in CX. And then even... The more expensive ones like um clono we had that which we wanted 180 quid for metal slug he wanted 60 quid for which is uh 50 quid in in cex clono sorry is 130 quid you know, he's, i can i do get that there are some you know retro gaming stores where maybe they're a little bit more expensive than um cex but obviously the, the condition you know you can't question it so um, maybe i you know i can understand that but when you're you know, 50 or 60 quid above the price of what CEX are charging for, for example, Clono, it's like, is it, is it going to be worth, you know, an extra 50 quid because of the condition? Well, I don't, I don't know. But, but yeah, it was a shame because he had so many games in there that, you know, if, if he was, you know, there or thereabouts with the same price as CEX, I probably would have, I definitely would have picked up um, Destruction, Derby, Destruction Derby 2. I would have picked up Abe's Odyssey. Um, I think there was another Destruction Derby game in there couple on the PlayStation 2 that I would have grabbed as well. So it was, it was a shame. But, um, yeah, I did manage to grab uh, The Godfather, which, um, oh, that's got his telephone number on it there. Uh, the Godfather on PlayStation 2 is in really good condition. Um, and surprisingly, this one is was £4, but in CEX it's £5. So, yeah, go, go figure. But, um, yeah, well, well, it was a shame. I mean, if if you live in the area where, where I live and you've been to the Retro Giant before, let me know in the comments um, if you've had the same experience or, or you know, if you was able to find a couple of bargains in there. But, um, yeah, unfortunately, it was uh, just that little bit too pricey, um, you know, especially for me because <laughs> I'm always looking for a bargain. So it was a shame. But, um, but yeah, you know, if you're ever in the area, still give it, a you know, a, a check out because... You know, if there's a game that you're struggling to find, I mean, and that is one thing that I will say, he had loads of stock. There was, you know, some, yeah, you know, most of the games that you would want um, across all of the, the retro um, consoles and platforms, you know, he had a really good selection. So, you know, ha have a look. If there's a game that you're struggling to find and, you know, you'd be willing to pay up for it, um, it's more than likely he will probably have it. And obviously consoles and stuff like that, he, he did have as well. So, so yeah, you know, all in all, it was, a so-so day in terms of, of video game hunting. Hopefully, I will uh, sell these on and, and get some money back for them. But if not, you know, it's a lesson learned. So, so yeah, but uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, everyone. Um, I'm still trying to get as much, for, um, you know, videos and stuff like that out for you as I can. It is really difficult um, at this time of year. If you've got any tips or um, suggestions of where I can go in the southeast, if you know of any good video shops uh, game, uh, sorry, video game shops um, or if there's some indoor gaming market stuff like that please let me know in the comments because um, you know if, if it's within a reasonable distance I will definitely go and check them out but as always everyone take care and I will see you all in the next one